Uh, on the 10th of November, there was a national demonstration going on. That's a collaboration between you and the NUS and the UCU. Uh, can you just explain what the day is about a little bit? Yeah, well, I mean, I think that any successful campaign has a range of activities. Uh, there, there needs to be local lobbying, there needs to be uh, a clear press uh, agenda, and there needs to be evidence-based policy. But I also think it's important that students get the opportunity through a national event to stand up and say what they think about uh, uh, the future cuts to higher education and the prospect of higher fees. And so uh, what we have done in conjunction with the University and Colleges Union, UCU, which represents academic staff in further education, higher education, is to organise a national demonstration. Uh, we're meeting up at half eleven on the 10th of November on Horse Guards Avenue and we will go through on a kind of a two mile route through central London past the House of Commons whilst Prime Minister's Questions is going on, hopefully making enough noise to get heard in the chamber. Uh, we're expecting uh, uh, certainly in excess of 10,000 students and actually the figures I'm hearing from students unions is that it could be as, as much as 20,000 or more. That would be the biggest demonstration on education for 20 years and surely that should send a clear signal to government that what they are pursuing is not in the interest of students and not supported by students. And I would say any politician that uh, wants to hike up fees should never expect a vote from students or their families ever again. To organise a national demonstration. Uh, we're meeting up at half eleven on the 10th of November on Horse Guards Avenue and we will go through on a kind of a two mile route through central London past the House of Commons whilst Prime Minister's Questions is going on, hopefully making enough noise to get heard in the chamber. Uh, we're expecting uh, uh, certainly in excess of 10,000 students and actually the figures I'm hearing from students unions is that it could be as, as much as 20,000 or more. That would be the biggest demonstration on education for 20 years. And surely that should send a clear signal to government that what they are pursuing is not in the interest of students and not supported by students. And I would say any politician that uh, wants to hike up fees should never expect a vote from students or their families ever again. So you might, uh, you might be getting 20,000 students. Do you think that is enough to actually make an impact on the House of Commons? Well, what I'm saying is that uh, a, a demonstration should be seen in a range of different activities. A demo on its own will not uh, be the difference between a government voting one way and the next. I mean, let's remember that a million people uh, uh, marched on the streets to stop the war in Iraq and it didn't change the government's minds. So I'm not, you know, I'm not blinkered enough to think that a demonstration on its own will change the government's mind. But there is a distinct difference here. This government does not have a mandate for what it is doing. The Tories on their own did not receive a majority of the votes. The Liberal Democrats and the Labour Party stood on a ticket at least to, uh, uh, to oppose the deficit reduction at the speed at which it's being pursued. The Liberal Democrats, who are the key party in terms of the vote on tuition fees, we're expecting Labour to vote against, it's now up to what the Liberal Democrats do. The Lib Dems stood on a manifesto to abolish fees. They cannot vote for higher fees, otherwise we will chase them down around the country and I'll make it my mission to make sure as many of them lose their seats as possible. Do you think, do you think, what do you think with the Lib Dems? Because a lot of the seats that they won in the 2005 election were in student areas. Yeah. What, what do you think, sort of, what do you see happening in these areas? Like Leeds, for example, Greg Mulholland yeah. won mostly on the student ticket. What do you think is going to happen to him? The Liberal Democrats have rightly been seen as a distinctive party for students. They've been different on tuition fees, they've been different on the Iraq war. Tuition fees has been, in the eyes of students, their single flagship policy. And about 20 of the Liberal Democrat 57 seats are in sizeable constituencies of students and st academic staff, like Leeds Northwest, like Bristol West, like Bath, uh, like uh, the, the Cardiff Central. There are so many across uh, the UK. I think it would be utterly suicidal for the Liberal Democrats to pursue this policy because uh, Nick Clegg has found himself in a ministerial job. They need to stand up for their principles. It is utterly unacceptable for them to betray students in this way. Nick Clegg had the audacity to send a message to our conference to say he would campaign against, fight against and vote against tuition fees. Well, he should damn well do it.